Hi everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we enjoy the beautiful corn season and making some super tasty corn flour pancakes. I make this recipe almost every day for my breakfast. It has an incredible rich flavor and it's so easy to make. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing recipes. With it being corn season, there is no better word for the Portuguese word of the day than milho. Milho, which of course means corn. Being made from a corn flour, you have a delicious, healthy pancake recipe that is also gluten-free and dairy-free. For the corn flour, you want to use a corn flour that is finely ground. This other type here is cornmeal, which is costly ground. So, into a bowl, add one and three quarter cup of corn flour. What I like to do is add one quarter cup of the total measurement of cornmeal. I think it gives your pancakes a nice texture. Although, feel free to use just a thinner corn flour if you want. One teaspoon of tapioca starch. Half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. And mix everything well. In a measurement cup or another bowl, add one cup of coconut milk, two tablespoons of grapeseed oil or another oil you want to use, one tablespoon plus one quarter teaspoon of honey. And the two eggs. Whisk well until all well incorporated. Combine wet and dry or whisking until you get a smooth butter. You can make this recipe and keep it in the fridge for up to 5 days if you want to eat it for your weekly breakfast. This is how I do. You can cook the pancakes in two ways. For the first way, over a non-stick pan, at medium heat, add some oil and if you want you can also add some butter. For a thin classic shape, pour one third cup of the butter on the pan and cook it until you see the bubbles. Then flip over. Cook until both sides are nice and golden. When adding the dough again, make sure to stir it before. If you want a thicker pancake, you can use pancake or egg frames to shape them. Cook them the same as before. This recipe is great because you can use it as a savory or a sweet dish. For savory, I like to add a poached egg. For a great poached egg, crack your egg and discard the liquid part. Bring some water to a boil. Reduce the heat and bring it to simmer. Once simmering, add one tablespoon of white vinegar and stir. Turn off the heat and add your egg. Leave it for 4 minutes and then remove from heat. So, for plating, add the pancakes with the poached egg, some sliced avocado, tomatoes, and season with salt and pepper. I also like to add some cheese on the top and herbs like parsley or chives. For a sweeter option, add some berries and the syrup of your choice. I am using maple syrup. The corn matches so perfectly with the blueberries and the maple syrup. It's delicious! So, 
So everyone, this is one of my favorite pancake recipes. I really love the flavor the corn brings and also love that it's lighter and can be made both sweet and savory. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching Bake Cook Travel. Ciao, see you next time!